Hello everybody and welcome back to another moveset guide analysis video. Today, ladies and gentlemen, I have for you Excadrill, where we're gonna be looking at it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Looking at it in the OU tier. Now, Excadrill is a really good Pokemon. I really like it. It isn't my favorite Pokemon to use, but I do enjoy it when I do try and like and I do need like a spinner or I just need like a scarf ground type. Uh, that's really really strong has some decent HP alongside so it can take some um, Super effective but non stab hits uh, It's really fun to play with The first that we're gonna look at is in is arguably in my opinion one of its best but worst sets And I'll get into that when we get down to this move here uh, Earthquake Iron Head obviously you need to stab uh, Earthquake is strongest, Iron Head hits, uh, Clef is to a and Clefable. Earthquake, it should be, uh, two hits KOing. If I rem if I remember, of course. Does it do a KO, Chansey? That's a good question. No, it doesn't. Um, it does a lot to Chansey. Um, Rock Slide, hitting stuff like Zard Y, um, uh, which is important, uh, especially now hitting stuff like Blacephalon, um, hitting Dragonite after Stealth Rocks, you know, you got a decent move to hit stuff like uh, Halucha, uh, Alolan Marowak, upon switching as well. Really, really solid. But the last move, as we all know, Rapid Spin. Oh, boy. The problem I have with Rapid Spin on Excadrill's Scarf set is that... <laughs> Not that it has any other moves that it would really be using. Like, let's be real here. You wouldn't be using X Scissor, right? Like, you're not gonna be using Shadow Claw. You know, you're not gonna be using Poison Jab or Brick Break, right? Like, Rapid Spin is there simply for that last ditch. Like, oh, I need to get these houses away before I go down. The problem with that you know, the, the problem I have with it is, I think another option that I don't think, unless I'm 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 making it a big assumption here that anyone has thought of is Stealth Rocks, uh, mainly because you have Mold Breaker. So in the matchup versus say Stall, you know you Stealth Rock up on a Mega Sableye, or let's say you're Stealth Rocking up on a Mega Diancie uh, as a last ditch effort. Uh, it, it gives you that little bit of extra utility that you wouldn't get from running rapid spin, right? Because like you rapid spin, but then oh wait, gotta switch out, letting your which lets your opponent set up, let's say rock polish with Mega Diancy, um, set up a Dragon Dance with Gyarados, Salamence, Dragonite, uh, Ty Mega Tyranitar, or a regular Tyranitar. It puts you in that position where it, it, it's not helping you. It, it won't help you much at all. Um, <clears throat> that's how I feel of a rapid spin. I know. Uh, I know some of you in the comments or even just watching this video will may completely disagree with me. But hey, that's perfectly okay. Again, while I like the scarf set for its main attacking moves, I really don't like rapid spin all that much. Again, it's just allowing you too much to uh, get beaten by Saddle Sweepers. Like I, I, I think one of the best examples would be Zardax, uh, based on the fact that it's, it's a mon that you cannot switch into. It, it's so tough. It, it, it's one of the Pokemon that if you try and switch into it with, with your best defensive Pokemon, it's still getting to it KO'd. It's, and that's that's the problem here with Rapid Spin to me. So again, Stealth Rocks is a nice other option. Let's move on. Next here we got the Life Orb or Steelium uh, Sand Rush set. Now, I really like this set. This set paired with Mega Tyranitar obviously uh, puts in a lot of work. Um, a bulkier option would be Hit Pout on, but I like Tyranitar just to punch holes through, uh, through a lot of different teams with Dragon Dance, Earthquake, Iron Head, Rock Slide, and Swords Dance. Now, you could run Rapid Spin here. I personally wouldn't. I think that if you're really weak to Hazards, 
something like uh, Scarf Defog Gladios is a great option. Hell, defense, uh, Defog Rotom, Defog Landorus T uh, are better options. Even help Defog uh, Clef Key uh, could help you out, especially when uh, it can set up spikes right after. This set hits like an absolute truck. I much prefer Life Orb to Stelium, uh, which would give you the Corkscrew Crash for Iron Head. I, I th this Pokemon just breaks through stuff like uh, it, it just breaks through certain mons. Like if we take a look at Chansey, um, plus two Earthquake puts in the work. Um, the Steelium Z would be great just to go for that plus two Corkscrew Crash versus Chansey. Uh, that would be the only time I could really say if your team is super weak to Chansey, go for it. Um, but because like Life Orb. Earthquake at plus two is going to do so much and since it can't really touch you with the seismic toss And it's going to be taking the extra sand damage and everything it really sucks and obviously this HP if it's gone You have a much better chance um, I'm doing it now that I think about it. I was stupid and that corkscrew crash with the KO, but um, I either way uh, if we look at something like say Venusaur uh, defensive uh, Mega Venusaur um, again, very, like basically the same role, just a little bit higher. Um, 93 uh, to KO. Oh, come on, this is not fair. Why are you doing this to me? Um, like Earthquake does a lot. Iron Head does a lot. Um, Clefable is not going to be taking a plus two Iron Head, nor is it going to appreciate an Iron Head in general. So this is why I really like Excadrill. It's a Pokemon that puts in a lot of work. Uh, and I know some people like will say, run Adamant since you're in the sand, you're gonna hit 550 speed. You'll be outspeeding most everything anyways. Jolly is in my opinion needed for the extra speed, uh, especially when you're going up against potential Scarf Greninjas which you don't necessarily want to uh, be taking a hit from. So keep all of that in mind. It's a great set. I much prefer it to Scarf more recently because I've been playing a lot of Sand personally on the ladder. Um, Scarf is great, but against uh, this is easily the second best set compared to the best set in my opinion, which is Sash Rocks. Sash Rocks, Toxic, Stealth Rock, Rapid Spin, Earthquake. This set is directly meant to just set up Stealth Rocks and Toxic uh, Mega Sableye. Like the moment you Toxic Mega Sableye on stall, it's relying on Chansey to heal it up with Aromatherapy. And by that point, you know, if your opponent's switching out, well then bam, you're smacking it with an Earthquake. Uh, and, and nothing's and that chance is not really going to appreciate taking two earthquakes. Um, it's not going to like it's not going to take those three, and then you know your sash may still be intact. So you switch out into like another Pokemon, like uh, say your uh, Magnezone, just as an example, uh, potentially trapping it. And then I think I hope you guys get what I'm trying to get at. Basically, this Pokemon is so good if you're weak to stall. Uh, or just to get a nice sash lead in general. Set up your rocks, you go for like an Earthquake or a Toxic, say to hit Landorus, say to hit Mew potentially. It's really, really solid. Uh, nothing really here to speak about. Uh, if you really wanted to, for some reason, you could run max HP, but max attack just obviously to let Earthquake hit really, really hard. Uh, especially again in a uh, matchup versus say Heatran. You just smack that bitch with an earthquake, get the KO, start setting up your stealth rocks and whatnot. Other options, you could go Spadef. Uh, I used to run this quite a bit. I really lost my affinity for it, and I don't know why this is zero. Um, because I found myself losing in a lot of situations to stuff like Zygarde, um, since I was slower than it, and I couldn't get a Toxic off, uh, like Sub DD Zygarde like not being able to get a toxic onto it and like have it lose a lot of his HP really, really sucked. Um, 
in the long run. Uh, you know, getting up stealth rocks, you know, as it goes for like a sub or whatever, really suck. Um, oh boy. Um, it, it really sucks. It's an option if you're looking for a bulkier option. It wouldn't be my first pick. I, again, would much rather go with Sash Rocks because I'm out speeding uh, Adamant Zygarde. I'm out speeding Landorus, uh, uh, defensive Landorus, anyways. Adamant, offensive Landorus T. I'm out speeding Mew. I'm out speeding, for the most part, most Zapdos. Um, depend, depends on if they're running max speed or enough to outspeed Bisharp and they want a lot more defensive investment. Um, but this set, it, it can work. I've had it work in the past. It's just, I don't think it's as good as it was, say like five months ago. Just based on the fact, like, I'm just based on how good the meta has become. Cause take this set here versus Magirna. Uh, Magirna sets up a trick room, or not a trick room, uh, shift gear. You get the KO with that with that earthquake, um, yeah. And you outspeed it anyways. Uh, you go for the earthquake, it dies. <laughs> Turn one, or like late in the game, it, it's clutch. It's 100% clutch, and you have to get the absolute min roll to not KO this Magirna. And even then, you're always gonna take at least one hit because your sash. So why not? That's how I personally feel about Excadrill. I mean, again, if you really wanted to look at some other potential offensive options, uh, Brick Break, if you wanted to, it's not something I would personally go for, but hey, I'm obviously not every person, so uh, that's whatever. Uh, an interesting set you could run is Rocky and Z with Sand Force uh, and then Sandstorm. Sand Force gives you basically a life orb boost to, like, to Earthquake, Rock Slide, and Iron Head. So you have Earthquake, you have Earthquake, Iron Head, and Rock Slide with Z Sandstorm. You get the plus one speed boost, um, which puts you at which would give you basically a choice scarf boost um which would put you at 453 speed um and it's it would be an interesting niche set but it's so niche uh if you really want to make it work absolutely try it i tried it once as a joke on the ladder it didn't go so well um my opponent seemed really fucking confused at what I was going for, uh, <laughs> but it is really interesting. But with that being said, guys, that is it for this video. Uh, as always, if you did enjoy the video, please leave a like on it as it does help the channel grow. Leave a comment down below as to your personal favorites, Excadrill sets. Uh, otherwise, uh, that's about it for me today, guys. I'll catch y'all later. Peace out. <laughs> 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 <laughs>